part C, continuing with Ohm's Law. Dr. Ken here with you. The, in this lesson, we're going to discuss scientific and engineering notation. We've already introduced you to a bit of this in the previous lesson. It's section 3.4 in um, Fundamentals textbook. And uh, scientific and engineering notation. Scientific notation gives an easier way of dealing with these large and small values, which we kind of said in the previous lesson. For example, if you had a number of uh, 250,000, it has four zeros. In scientific notation, the four zeros can be written as 10 to the fourth. So 10 multiplied by 10 four times. So the four being an exponent. So we would simply write 25 times 10 to the 4 is the same thing as writing 250,000. So 4 is the power of 10 and any power of 10 plus or minus can be used. Um, plus in for big numbers, minus for small numbers. So again, uh, you've already seen this table and uh, just to just bring you up to speed one more time in the middle here we have what we call unity in this direction for big numbers for this direction small numbers so the thing we need to note here is small k means kilos and in thousands and times 10 to the 3. Mega, capital M, it's in millions and times 10 to the 6th. Giga, times 10 to the 9 and Terra, times 10 to the 12. Going in the opposite direction now, going down to millis or a thousandth is minus 3 times 10 to the minus 3. Micros times 10 to the minus 6. Nanos times 10 to the minus 9. And then picos times 10 to the minus 12. Uh, there are other numbers which go bigger in this direction and smaller in this direction. But uh, this range of scientific notation um, using exponents ranging from minus 12 to plus 12 covers kind of 99% of all the numbers we will ever need to worry about in our electrical physics. So engineering notation, how is that different from scientific? Engineering notation uses powers of 10 that are multiples of 3. It replaces a metric prefix of a power of a 10. For example, remember our 250,000 volts in engineering notation would be 250 kV or 250 times 10 to the 3 rather than 250 or 25 times 10 to the 4. So the metric being in groups of three, that being a kilo. So a thousand equals times 10 to the power of three. That's simply all times 10 to the three means. It's just another way of representing the number. So that equals a thousand. Those are both the same thing. So times 10 to the three, is a thousand. So in this particular case we get an answer of 250 times 10 to the 3 but instead of writing times 10 to the 3 we can abbreviate this with KB. So engineering notation on your calculator um, if you use the recommended uh, VPAM 
calculator from Casio, one we like is the uh, FX100AU, is one of my favourites. Um, then you can use this engineering key. So it doesn't matter, you can, you can punch your numbers in in any form that you like, and if you press the engineering key, it will put it into the nearest engineering units. If the nearest units is times 10 to the 3 or times 10 to the minus 3, that's what it will do. It will put them into the nearest units. If you press it again, it will just go up a scale. And press it again, it will go up another 3. So by continually pressing the engineering button, you can go simply times 10 to the 3. Then it will go up to times 10 to the 6. Press it again, it will go times 10 to the 9, press it again, it'll go times 10 to the 12. Now, you're saying to yourself, well, Ken, what if we want to go the opposite direction? What if we want to go smaller and we want to go times 10 to the minus 3? Well, if you just notice this little orange arrow in here, if you press the shift key, followed by the arrow, on the edge, it'll do the opposite. It'll take you down. So it'll go 10 to the minus 3, 10 to the minus 6, 10 to the minus 9, etc. So again, you can enter your numbers in, in engineering or scientific notation, doesn't matter. If you press the edge button, it will convert it into engineering notation, which is this nice um, groups of threes. When I say groups of threes, that's groups of threes on the exponents.